How come no one told me I sounded like a goat? So my week started awesome. Uh, last week I got an email from Lawrence Johnson, former American record holder, silver medalist at the Olympics. He told me to give him a call. What? Lawrence Johnson wants to talk to me? So I gave him a call, we talked training a little bit, and he kind of just said, Hey, what the heck are you thinking? Lifting, working out that hard on Fridays before a meet. No wonder you're feeling flat. You're being dumb. He didn't say it like that. He said he was going to help me out with um, some training type stuff. So that was awesome because I've been watching Lawrence Johnson since I was in high school. He's still one of the guys I watch. I was speechless. Lawrence Johnson is the man. Just a good dude. I had a good talk with him. Can't wait to have some more. Uh, he has his own website. Check out uh, Vault Assault. Uh, I'll put a link right between my fingers right here. I'm going to try and keep this video as sh vlog as short as I can because a lot happened. I took a lot of footage. I didn't get any video of my training this week. I did plyos and weights on Monday, vaulted on Tuesday, didn't get any vault vids. Dad didn't make it because he had to go to a high school coaches meeting. I had vaulted awesome. Six lefts, got on the biggest pull I've ever been on from six lefts. It was good. It was a good day. Trust me. I don't have, I don't have proof, but it was a good day. I promise. Yeah, got an acceleration day and a stretch day in. I was starting to get kind of stressed out a little bit. Like, oh man, the meat's coming up. I'm so excited. What am I going to do? I got to do this. So, I went sledding. <laughs> All right, I'm cheap. And I found this couch cushion. It's made of leather. <laughs> I went sledding with Carrie. She got hurt a little bit. She hit it pretty hard a couple times. I didn't get hurt, so that was good. <laughs> but my poor girlfriend got hurt a little bit. And then I got a call from Sam Soholt, one of my best friends, and he was saying, Sean, I got some good news. I watched your last vlog. You were talking about how kind of stressing out about money stuff. Talked to a bunch of people, and so they raised um, like $300 to help me. It was awesome. Like, I didn't expect it. I'm speechless, and I told Sam I would spend a week trying to think of uh, the right thing to say in my vlog, and I still can't. I'm just overwhelmed. The best story that came out of it is Sam's mom threw in $100, and she's like, I'll help him as long as he comes back to the cabin this summer to do some more crazy shenanigans. And that's the place where I got lost out of the boat with my kite. I was going to go whether they wanted me to go or not, because <laughs> I had that much fun. Friday, I left to travel to the meet. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. I have to go catch my flight. It's the earliest I've been awake in a long time. Uh, my dad got stopped, um, and we thought it was because he had a knee replacement surgery, so we're like, I oh, always get stopped. And the, Or we thought it was because he had a Tupperware full of chalk. Tupperware full of a powdery substance is probably not something that looks good to bring on to an airplane. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, Ugh. GoPro, filming this. So what happened through security? Well, I've been missing a knife for a while, and they found it for me. <laughs> you were all worried about the chalk, right? I'm going to check the chalk. And they found your knife. They found my knife in the <laughs> camera case that I didn't even know was there. <laughs> Terrorist. 
I love going off into the plane, but I hate landing. I would rather jump out and land myself. That's just the skydiver in me. It just feels weird getting on a plane without jumping out of it. Yeah, and I have this really fun thing I started to do with Cody Grunwald, and we just start talking to strangers. So we always go, hey. we always scare them. We always scare them like this. Hey, have a good flight. Hey, have a good flight. Ooh. You look good today. <laughs> I did that, but I didn't have my wingman Cody with me. My dad just laughed at me like... My son's an idiot. I always want to grab that lever. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. We landed. Shuttle guy over here looked at me and goes... You're not a pole vaulter. You're too short to be a pole vaulter. I'll show him. We got to the hotel. These rooms are pretty awesome. There's where the meat is. A hop, skip, and a jump away, and I probably won't be hop, skipping, or jumping to get there. <laughs> and um, then I went to do the registration to get my little packet full of stuff. I went down there, and they gave me my packet with my name on it. They go, oh, this guy gets a check. So uh, they give me a check, and I walk away and I look at it. All I could think of was, since I jumped 551 and not 550, I was probably one of the top four people and they help support the top four people to get to the meet. So, Caroline. I got, I got some reimbursement money for jumping one centimeter higher. Caroline wins. Thanks for making me jump 551 and not 550. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, help yourself to all the refreshments and whatnot. And I look over there and there's just like apples and oranges and a tub full of gum and water and Gatorade. And I felt like Harry Dunn in Dunn Dumber. Look at all this free stuff I got, and I got paid to be here, and I didn't even compete yet, and I'm gonna compete, and I'm gonna get to jump with all these elite guys, and I'm excited, oh my god! No big deal, just getting my complimentary pack of gum. Fantastic. Fresh breath for all athletes competing at the 2013 Indoor Championship. It was just ridiculous. I'm a big dork. Uh, I did a shakeout before I went to eat. Sat all day, shake out, and then taking a while to shake out. I forgot we were at higher altitude, so I was doing like my 10 minute run just to warm up, and I was like, God, I am out of shape. This meat's gonna go terrible. And then it hit me a couple days later that I was at higher altitude, duh. I wrote a 12 page paper on altitude training. I guess it didn't stick. <laughs> so uh, anyways, so yeah, then we found some statues, <laughs> dinking around with those a little bit. Funny? It's funny. <laughs> Gotta to be get on the ride. To enter the USATF Championship pole vault competition. Dang it. And the next day. 9.30. Got up a little late today. I was tired after traveling. Maybe we'll get this pre-meet done. And then go eat. Get ready to watch some women's pole vault. Because that's going to be freaking sick. It was awesome. I was like elite hurdlers and sprinters warming up. I was just like, holy <laughs> Got my warm up in. I was feeling really good after that. Went back uh, through this little lobby area and uh, there's more free stuff. What did I do? <laughs> Grab more free stuff, because why not? I just ran into Amanda Spock. That was awesome. Olympian last year, former bison, just a freak athlete, an all around good person. <laughs> oh, I'm not a good person. Look at all this free stuff I took. <laughs> Collecting it like it's going to be American currency pretty soon. <laughs> it's like, please stop, I need it now. <laughs> so we came back later. I spy Brad Walker and Jeff Hartwig. Former American record holder and current American record holder. Uh, to watch the women's uh, meet and it was insane probably the best women's competition I have ever seen Kylie Hudson jumped 475 what it was incredible Kylie Hudson looked just sick it was the third highest jump that an American's ever had but then Jen Schur what? We saw her go for the American record at 16.1 or 4.90 and she just blew it up. It was just, it was just a toast and I just went, oh my god, she could potentially break the world record today. 
She went from 490 to 502. And first jump breaks the world indoor pole vault record. I was there. I got to see the world indoor pole vault record be broken. It was insane. What? I can't believe I saw it. Alright, so we went to the meet. We had to warm up in this back area. And it was just sick, you know? It's like, you see these names on the list of people you're competing against, but then when you actually see them, like Mark Hollis, and Jordan Scott, Coover, Brad Walker, and DeLeo, and all these guys, you know, it's, you're just like in awe of it. Mark Hollis was super awesome. I get, he watches these vlogs. <laughs> Later on, we were eating afterwards. He's like, where's your GoPro? I thought I was going to be on camera this week. Like, Dang it! Forgot it! I'm going to keep that thing connected to me at all times from now on because there were some good stories. Just pole vaulting with Brad Walker being in the same competition of him was like on my bucket list. It was just awesome. It was really cool. Warmed up on the runway. We got on the runway. Team Hoot made its national uh, debut in the men's pole vault. So I thought they were going to make me take my shirt off. I got to wear it. Team Hoot! Hoot, 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 hoot. hoot. Came in at 5.20. Jumped on the 15.5, made that on my first. Went to 5.35. Uh, blew through that 15.5 on my first jump. Went to the 15.0 flex. Was holding at like 15.8. And made it on my second. It was a pretty good jump, like a lot of hip height on it. Uh, I passed 5.45 and went to 5.50. It just looked like I was sitting there for a while and didn't warm up enough for that first jump and the first jump was pretty ugly. On that 15.0, went up like an inch on the grip, like 15.9. Fifteen oh, made it on my second. Uh, was like okay with it, not super happy with my jump, but cool, made it. And then I passed five fifty-five to five sixty, and missed all three attempts. My second and third attempt were really good, like. It was the best attempts I've ever had at 560, and my third attempt was awesome. I had just huge hip height on it. I got a... <sighs> all the stuff that made me miss the bars, all the stuff that I've been trying to work on these last, like, month and a half, which I went right hand to my left leg. Boo. If I would have went right hand to my right leg, I would have shot up straighter, and it would have helped a whole bunch on that jump. Whatever, it's it's on its way, it's getting better. If you look at my jumps in like November to now, they don't look the same anymore, which is good. So it was an, it was a fun meet. I had a lot of fun and it was a fun experience and I can't wait to go to more meets like this. So I met a lot of awesome people while I was down there. A lot of pole vaulters, a lot of coaches. I'll tell you more stories later <laughs> because this vlog is already getting too long. The best way I can describe the meet, I'm just gonna, you know what, maybe I'll just scroll it down at the end of the vlog and I'll put it in the description because I, I can't, I don't think I can say it any better than the way I said it on Facebook. That's what I'm gonna do. I keep getting a lot of people telling me to put individual, my individual jumps in on my um, YouTube page so I'll get my fear from the US Champs and every meet I have from now on I'll put a bunch of the jumps just singly on there so you only have like five second clips of jumps instead of having to search through a 12 minute vlog if you all you want to do is watch my vaulting so I'll start doing that after I finish this vlog so I'm gonna get this up next week I'm gonna head to Arizona for some training and some nice weather and try and do a short approach meet while I'm down there I will do my best to try and get a vlog up, and if I can't, I'll just post... I'll post an old video I have that I made a while ago, and 
that will hold you guys over for a week until I can edit the Arizona footage. Yeah, so thanks again. Please subscribe and keep sharing these and I hope they're entertaining and informative. Thank you. Thank you everyone for all the support and I will jump higher. It's on its way. My funniest subscriber this week was butt cabbages. <laughs>